What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find the best tags and keywords for your YouTube videos so that you can actually improve your overall SEO strategy for your YouTube channel. So I created a video yesterday about keyword research for SEO and as I was looking for tags I figured I would go through a video for how I come up with tags for my videos. So if we come up to the top here, one of the first things that I do is I use tubebuddy.com which is a free and paid tool i use their completely free chrome extension and i install it to my chrome browser so that's the first tool that i use the next tool is going to be keywordseverywhere.com same exact thing i install their chrome extension to my browser as well so those are the first two tools that i use the next tool that i've been using frequently is chat gpt they give you a lot of unique YouTube tags when you are looking for a specific video topic that a lot of these other tools will not give you. If you want to take it a step further, you can use a tool like searchvolume.io to see how much search volume all of these different tags get to kind of come up with the best list of tags possible. So let's get started here in YouTube. I have my TubeBuddy Chrome extension installed and you can see it's connected to my YouTube account. So right here is TubeBuddy. If I click on view details, what they're actually gonna do is give me all of the tags that all of these different videos are using. So that's the first thing that I'll do is I'll look at some of the different tags for the top ranking videos and you can actually copy these tags and copy them directly to your clipboard and then you can just take them, open up a notepad and just paste them right in notepad. So we have our first set here and I'll just copy and paste these here. And generally what I'll do is I'll remove any of the tags that are related specifically to that channel. So what I'm gonna do is start with this list of different tags and then I'll go through and I'll do it for a couple of the other top videos here, especially if they're using a lot of tags. So you can see this one isn't using as many tags here, so it's not really worth copying the tags. If we come over here, some of them don't contain any tags at all. You can see some of the different tags that I'm using here. So that's where I'll get started is I'll look at some of these different videos, copy and paste the tags directly just using this TubeBuddy Chrome extension. Now the next thing as I scroll down here is they have most used tags. So Keywords Everywhere is gonna give us the most used tags specifically for whatever keyword that we search. So I'm gonna copy these tags as well. We'll come back over to our notepad and we're gonna paste these tags. Okay, so you can see our list is growing here and you may have some redundancy, especially as you're using multiple tools. But right now we have a good list of tags just using keywords everywhere and also using tags from other people's videos that are available to us by using TubeBuddy. The other thing we can do is we can come over here to ChatGPT and we're gonna copy these ones as well. So we'll take all of these tags, we're gonna copy them, come over here and we're gonna paste these tags. Now you may be wondering, how do I decide which tags to use exactly? What I like to do is kind of go through some of these different tags and say, this tag is going to be actually relevant for this video. Now, some of these really broad tags, I don't use as much for some of these videos. I try to use them, use the tags that are gonna be the most relevant for whatever my video is actually about. So I'll get rid of some of these really broad tags. And then what I like to do is find tags like SEO tips 2023, something that's really more exact to exactly what my video is gonna be about. Now what I can do is take some of these main tags, we'll get rid of anything that doesn't have 2023 in it because I want to make sure that people are seeing the most relevant video possible. So you're gonna have, again, some repeat keywords as you go through this process. The other thing that you can do is go directly to Google and enter your keyword into Google. And if you're using keywords everywhere and you scroll down, you're going to have related keywords. So a lot of times I'll take these ones, I'll copy these keywords. So we'll put those directly into Notepad. We'll keep coming down here. People also search for, so some of these are gonna be similar to the ones above. And then we have long tail keywords as well. So we could take all of these different keywords that we've entered and come over down here, copy and paste them. We could even do SEO keyword research. So we could do some different tags as we go through this process. But what I eventually do is I'll take all of these tags, we'll copy them, you come over here to searchvolume.io, we'll copy and paste these tags here and submit. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna give us the average monthly searches for all of these different keywords here. And generally what I'll do is I'll take out some of the most popular keywords that are gonna be the most relevant to my actual video. So something like Google Analytics, to me, not relevant to the video, even though there's a ton of search volume here, not something that I wanna use for a tag. However, Google Keyword Planner, since I did use that for my video, what you'll see is if we come back over here and we scroll down is right here in my description in this video we will show you how to do seo keyword research using google keyword planner 
So sometimes I'll incorporate some of those other videos as I'm going through some of my descriptions as well, and I'll try to use some of them in my title. So I will adjust titles at times, but what I like to do is take all of these keywords from searchvolume.io and find the ones with the actual most average monthly searches that are the most relevant to my video. So for example, even though my video is about keyword research for SEO, you can see something like keyword research tool gets way more average monthly searches. Now, tags aren't the end all be all for ranking high in YouTube, but it does help to use the right keywords in your description, in your title, and with your tags, and also creating descriptions that are gonna go over some of these different things. The other, last but not least in this video, is as I go through searchvolume.io, I will try to find specific keywords like competitor analysis. If we scroll down here, and we see things like keyword research tools, 880 average monthly searches. That's actually gonna be what my next video is about. Keyword density. So while I might not use this as a tag, I will take this specific keyword out. I'll add it to my list for coming up with my video ideas for future videos. So this is another benefit of coming up with some YouTube video tags. So as you try to grow your YouTube video channel, it's really important to understand what people are actually searching for and what the main resources you can give them to actually solve some of the problems that they're having. Now, I don't think every single tag list I create for my videos is absolutely perfect, but I do try to incorporate some of these high search volume and very relevant tags, and then I try to use them in my descriptions, use them in my title if I can, or pull out one or two for my title, and then from there, I just try to get the best possible rankings I can, by hopefully creating engaging content. So if you have any questions about coming up with YouTube tags, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.